In this video, I'm going to share with you how to get custom text as well as custom backgrounds in your Notion blocks. For this example, we're going to pull a couple random color codes from the Apple website, and then we're going to use them here in Notion. So I've got this eyedropper Chrome extension tool, which if you don't already have, I definitely recommend. And what it lets you do is you can select this icon here, and then you can go ahead and pick a color from the web page. So let's go ahead and find this blue here. So I'm going to select it. And then when we come back, you can see that we found that unique color code here on the web page. And now we're going to bring that over into Notion. First, we're going to do custom color text. And this is the formula that you're going to use. So we're going to copy this. And then we are going to create a equation. And there's two ways that you can do this. You can do Command Shift E for the shortcut, or you could do a slash and then you search for equation. And then we're going to select inline equation, copy and paste that formula, which is in the description description of this video. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to get this color code and we are going to drop it where it says enter color code here and then select done. And you can see we have the color of this iPhone here on the Apple website. And if you wanted to change the color of this, you could just enter different color codes. And you also have the option to just say color. So we could say blue here and it's gonna give you whatever the standard blue is for the Notion system, or you could do red. So now that we've done the text, let's move on to the background. For fun, let's go ahead and pick a new color off of the Apple website. So we're gonna pick a color here. Let's try to go for this orangish color and then select this. And then there's our color code. And then with this formula, we're going to grab it. And then again, you're gonna create another inline equation. Then we're going to paste that formula into here. And then we are going to enter the text color and then the background color. For the text color, I'm gonna make it white. And then we're going to make the background color, this orange color here. So we're going to copy this and then replace it with this text I entered. And there you go. You have that white text and then you have that orange background color that we chose off of the Apple website. That's it for this quick tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.